Hi, it's Jason Ayers with Dimension Data, and uh, a lot of customers uh, are looking to deploy wireless solutions. Uh, the 802.11 uh, 2.4 gigahertz format was approved almost 10, 11 years ago, and uh, a lot of uh, stuff is still only 2.4 gigahertz. For example, my PlayStation and a couple other things don't uh, can't do the A band or the 5 gigahertz. Um, but I'm usually an advocate for uh, deploying. Uh, anything new using A with the N, the N basically adds the channel bonding. Um, and the reason why is just the number of pollution, the amount of wireless signals, uh, Bluetooth headsets, there's all sorts of devices in the 2.4 gigahertz range that uh, provide interference. And um, you only have three non-overlapping channels, uh, 1, 6, and 11. So typically your neighbors, uh, the people at work, the floor above you, the floor below you, um, typically have wireless devices, whether it's printers, um, cell phones, um, all sorts of things that can be uh, advertising uh, an SSID. Um, for example, my, my uh, Sprint Evo cell phone can be a hotspot. So basically it uses its uh, Sprint 3G or 4G connection uh, with the wireless to share access to the internet. Um, you know, there's lots of mobile devices in the 2.4 gigahertz. What I'm looking at right here is I'm running uh, from MetaGeek the NSSID ER or Insider 2.0 and what I'm seeing here, this is just a home, I'm uh, seeing on my laptop in the 2.4 gigahertz a lot of different pollution uh, coming from my neighbors. Um, just in the 2.4 band there's 14 APs that I'm seeing. Uh, if I was to um, bring up wireless here I would uh, I would definitely be stepping on somebody uh, there's already somebody there's a Belkin G um, in the uh, channel 11 the two wire 444 on channel 6 um, and then there's three networks uh, over on channel 1 um, someone's got a net gear on channel 2 uh, so if I take a look at the uh, 5 gigahertz picture over here in 5 gigahertz, it's just me. Uh, Dookie 5 is my access point. It's using channels 44 and 48 channel bonding to give 300 megabits. So, just an example, uh, typically everywhere I go, there's very little uh, 5 gigahertz um, interference for wireless. So, this is why you know you can you can go with wireless products like Cisco Clean Air that try and help minimize the pollution. But my theory is just go with new gear that's 5 gigahertz avoid the interference, spend less time dealing with uh, pollution, spend uh, you know, more time with more bandwidth, uh, you know, and newer technology. Again, this is my, my own personal opinion. It's not shared by everyone, uh, but I'm a big advocate for new deployments should use uh, the 802.11a 5 gigahertz spectrum uh, as opposed to the 2.4 gigahertz, which is full of... Uh, uh, a limited amount of channels and uh, not really a lot of room for overlap, especially when you have a floor above you, floor below you, uh, a lot of other APs that are close by.